I know you've all been in the same situation. You develop a schematic and then you say, well, how much will it cost for me to build a hundred of these or a thousand of these? Who's going to have the best price and who's going to even have the parts that I need in stock? And then once I find who has the parts, how do I generate an order for them? Well, I've developed a tool that tries to make this a little bit simpler for everybody. It's called KaiCost. And essentially what happens is you take your KaiCAD schematic and you edit the parts in the schematic to include the part manufacturer's number. And then you export a BOM XML file from that schematic and that BOM file is read in by KaiCost and it extracts the part numbers out of it and goes out to various distributors and checks to see what the stock is at each distrib distributor for that part and what the pricing and quantity pricing tiers are for the part assembles all that information into a spreadsheet that can be edited with LibreOffice Calc or Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets you can do price comparisons and look at who has stock and who, who doesn't. And then you can generate an order just by cutting and pasting from the spreadsheet right over into the ordering pages of, of these distributors and get your parts and go ahead and assemble your boards. Let's see how that's done. Here's my KiCad schematic. And I've got the part numbers put in for uh, most of the parts here, but uh, I've left one open down here, this little barrel connector. So I'll double click on that. And what you do is you add a field to it. And the name of the field is manufactured part number, which I've abbreviated to M-A-N-F pound sign. And then you put the field value in there, which is the part number. And I happen to know this is a PJ-002A, very common barrel connector. And I say, okay. Now I have all the part numbers that I can find uh, into this schematic and all I do is generate a bomb for it. Click like that and I'm done. That's all that is needed there. And then I open up my PCB directory and there's the XML file for the bomb. And I have KaiCost under a context menu for XML file so all I have to do is right click on it and select KaiCost and it starts running and it reads in the schematic XML file, uh, goes through and finds out what parts libraries are used and what components are used, groups those components into uh, groups that are identical so it only has to do uh, a web scrape for one page for each group of components so it doesn't have to do a scrape for each individual component and now it's just going out to each website and picking up the uh, part information for each part as it goes through the list and this takes a while, maybe one or two minutes. Okay, it's done. And it's generated this spreadsheet file here so all I do is double click that and that brings up the spreadsheet for the part information and what I'm going to do is format the columns a little bit to make it all look a little bit prettier okay the most important cell is board quantity this is where you enter the number of boards you want to build right now it defaults to a hundred but you can type any number you want in there and things will change accordingly. Let's stick at 100 for no particular reason. This is the global part information over here. Gives you the part references from your schematic, the values from your schematic, part descriptions, which I haven't entered anything for, the footprint that's been assigned to each uh, part in, in your schematic, the manufacturer for each part, which I haven't any, entered any information for, the manufacturer part numbers, this is information that I had to put in in order to make everything work. There's the PJ002A that I entered previously. And then here is the quantity needed of each particular part, which is just multiplying the number of parts over here in the references by the quantity that's needed up here to give you the final part quantity. Now I'm going to collapse the hierarchy of the spreadsheet a little bit. Look at just the top level. Over here we have 
three distributors, Newark, DigiKey, Mauser. And up here is the price assigned for manufacturing 100 of each of these boards using parts from each of these distributors. And um, down here we have the individual part prices for this U2, which is a serial EEPROM. It would cost $21 to buy 100 from Newark about $31 from DigiKey and about $20 from Mauser. Um, the price for Newark is a little bit lower than everybody else mainly because it doesn't have several of the parts that I can get from these other two distributors so that artificially looks a little bit lower. So that gives you a price estimate just if you ordered everything from one particular distributor. Now I'm going to expand out the hierarchy a little bit more and I've added the new column called availability and all this does is tells you how much of each particular part is at each particular distributor. So that tells you who has the part and what it's going to cost to get it from them. Now I'm going to expand the hierarchy a little bit more and I'm going to hide these columns over here since we don't really need those and that will allow us to see more of what we do need to see. And now some extra columns have been added. Over here we've got the unit price for each individual item and as well as extended price so we can see what the unit price is of, for each distributor and we've added the catalog number for each distributor for each part so this is the number you need to use for ordering and I also added a link that links into each distributors website and gives you the information on that part so if I just say right click on this link uh, actually I control click on this link and it brings up the DigiKey sheet that shows all the information about that part so you can take a look at it and maybe verify that you've actually ordered the right thing or are going to order the right thing. So when you get down to actually doing an order what you do is you fill your information here in the purchase column for each distributor. So say I wanted to order 100 of these serial EEPROMs from DigiKey because why not pick the serial EE prom with the highest cost that makes a lot of sense but say you did so put a hundred in there and what happens is down here you can see that it's starting to create an order for you and say that I wanted to get uh, let's try, try 200 of these items these parts and then it adds that into the order list down here and what you can do is then you can cut and paste that into the DigiKey ordering page and generate an order from that. And you can do that for DigiKey, Mauser, Newark, and it'll format the ordering, sh the ordering list into the correct format for that particular distributor. So let's go ahead and just, let's just buy everything from DigiKey because isn't that what most of us do? And I'll go ahead and paste paste it in here. So now I've got a list of things to order from DigiKey. So all I've got to do is cut and paste that to the correct place. So I'll copy that and then I will open up my spreadsheet on DigiKey and let's see, Bob Manager. And I will now do, let's see, parts list, bomb manager. Create a new bomb list, a new parts list using a uh, text file import. And then it just gives you this field where you can do, cut and paste those numbers from the spreadsheet. So I'll just insert those in there. There they go. And say import parts and it's working on it and it's done so now here is a list of parts that it's imported and I'm gonna go ahead and order the first quantity which is what I originally put in and then I'm gonna create a cart for that to see what the price is And here is my cart with the parts that I ordered. And I look at the final price, $201.12.
and I go over here and I look at my DigiKey part in my spreadsheet, $201.12, which means that I got the correct information scraped out of the pages. So then all I have to do is order that list of parts from DigiKey and I can go ahead and get those and assemble my board. So if you want to try this out for yourself, you can download it uh, from uh, my website, from my GitHub site. Uh, it's at X Access Core KaiCost. And if you just want to install it, it's a Python script. Uh, there's a link down here for going ahead and getting that and installing it uh, on your machine. And it should run uh, anywhere that Python runs. It's a pure Python uh, type of a script. Um, if this doesn't suit your fancy, then there is a, another person that's uh, developed a similar uh, script, uh, Python script for uh, doing some pricing on uh, schematics and uh, Crash Bang Proto, KiCad Bomb Export. Maybe between those two, uh, you can find something that uh, will make your life easier.